Hello students, I want to tell you in this video uh, to you uh, in C++ functions passing parameters as a constant reference or const reference. Uh, we have already talked about how parameters are passed by reference. When parameters are passed by reference, we pass the address of the variable to the called function, uh, not the value. Of course, when address is available, the whole variable is available. Okay. So <clears throat> let's go. Uh, first, the need for the const reference. You know that when you are passing the variable's address, the function to which you pass the variable's address can change the value stored in the address. And sometimes that is used uh, as a part of the programming requirement. But the same characteristic can pose some risk at times. So we're going to take you to Xcode and show uh, one function where we pass with the ordinary reference and the kind of problem that can be there and then the modification of that function using the const reference. So uh, here's the Xcode. Basically, and here's a description here, you can read that, in fact, uh, I'll probably read it for you. So function print address is required to print address of a person passed to it without any further modification in the address. To save RAM, we pass strings in general by reference because the string is minimum 32 bytes. Reference itself is only 4 bytes. And that is what print address 1 should do. But there may be a problem lurking in the use of print address 1. Since address is passed by reference, the function print address 1 can accidentally or maliciously alter the address, which will change it in the caller function or main as well. Okay, so let's first look at the print address 1 where address as a string is passed as an ordinary reference. This is the header for the function or prototype. So we have string passed by reference and somebody's address and let's go to the code of this function right here. So code is actually pretty simple address is passed by reference means the memory address of this variable is same in this function as well as in the main so it's the same variable but what has happened here maliciously the function has altered the address to a value XYZ and then it prints it now that probably is not the worst thing printing it XYZ here is probably not the worst thing but there's another problem. It alters the addresses stored in this variable in the main also because it's the same variable in the main. Name may be different but variable the same. So let's see how when we use this function uh, how the program works. So let's go to our program. So <clears throat> first we have a string ADRS which is require to store address of the user. Then we prompt to the user that please type your full mailing address and press enter key. And then since address may have blank spaces in it, we use get line to get the whole address. And then we use print address one function to which this value ADRS is passed. Since it's passed by reference, see, uh, it's not making a copy. It's actually AD, ADRS's address is just same address as this one. So it's the same variable with two different names. So this is just an alias for ADRS actually. Okay. So when you pass by reference, even if the name is different, it's just, just an alias. Alias means some people have like two names, one at home and one at school. Okay. So since it's the same uh, variable, it got changed and immediately it's going to change in the main also and it's going to print the wrong value not what user entered so first I'm going to show you only this part 
okay so let's run it <clears throat> slow so I'm just gonna drive the full address uh, 1200 uh, Pico Boulevard Santa Monica California 90405 and allow me to copy this because I may have to paste it again actually so don't have to type it again and again okay so <clears throat> there it is now I hit the enter key really speaking I should be printing this but maliciously it is changed to another value and it says your address is XYZ and over here these lines print that for future reference we have saved your address as ADRS which was the input here okay so we are printing it back for them just to make sure uh, that they know what's going on okay but the problem with that is that the address stored in ADRS is no longer uh, 1200 Pico Boulevard Santa Monica California but it is XYZ okay that's a huge problem now of course here it was done maliciously but sometimes accidentally things can happen small functions they may not in large functions they may in fact, you use many functions, although they all take values by uh, value, pass by value, not by reference. But somebody else may write a function for you, and they may only give you object file rather than source code file. And if function accidentally alters uh, the values that you pass to it, well, it's going to get changed in your uh, main function also. And that's a side effect that you don't want generally. Uh, things should change by the function only when you want them to change. So C++ has a defense against that, which is that if we re redefine a similar function, but we put the word const in the front, that's the message to the function that even though this is not a constant, treat it like a constant. So const reference that we had here means although a variable may be passed, it should be treated as a constant by the function. And constants, you know, cannot be changed. All right. So let's look at this better function where address value, what is stored in the address cannot be changed either accidentally or maliciously. So that function is here and it simply prints the address. Of course this one does too but it had this extra line. So the question is that if I put the same code here what is the prevention mechanism? Well let's look at that. We comment in this line and I'll run my program again. Okay. And this is a bit slow, but it'll work. Already, look, you, I have a failed error. And it says on this line, passing const string as this argument, blah, blah, blah. But really, I mean, if, if we can look at the full, full thing, and this is a very cryptic message, actually. But really, all it is saying is that you ask me to treat address as constant, I can't change it. Really, all the rigmarole that you have here, in simple language, it is really this, that hey, you ask me to, using the word const, you ask me to treat it as a constant, and now you're changing it, I can't allow that, okay? So it's not gonna work. So only way the program is going to compile that we I put it back as a comment and and then run it and then program will compile again. Okay. So how does this function work now? Well actually this works pretty easily. Uh, 
what I did additionally here is that when the wrong address is printed here uh, over here ADRS okay, all of a sudden my, I lost my mouse I think yeah uh, then we ask them that enter zero enter zero if you, your stored address is wrong otherwise enter one if correct okay and then we take input on line 39 we take the input for response if they enter zero that is false not false on line 41 will be true so we'll enter this if block and Line 42 says, sorry, looks like we messed up your address. Uh, we will not make this mistake again. Okay, I'm doing something that I'm not supposed to do. And we ask for their full mailing address again on line 44. Ignore has to be used here because when response on line 39, was entered a end of the line character is left in the stream unless you get rid of it by using the ignore uh, that cannot be get line cannot work and then in okay hold on okay so get line works if we use the ignore because there was a end of line character left here and ignore gets rid of that and I can get the address second time. This time I print it through this modified function, which is this one, which simply prints it, doesn't make any changes, not allowed to make any changes. And then I print the value stored in ADRS again that was gotten here. And you'll see that this printed address and this printed address are same. Okay. All right, let's run it again to see the second part of it. And I think I have to stop uh, debugging. Okay, well, that's fine. I think we're okay. So let me clear that up and uh, let's see, restart. Okay, something happened. Let me close that. And my thing disappeared. Okay, all right. Okay, so we came back with the message. We are running the program again. Please type your full mailing address and press enter key. First, I, uh, I think I'm in some debugging mode. That's not working. Hold on a second. Okay, so we started the program again. And it asked me the full mailing address. Type that. But that was done by this bad function here. So XYZ is printed and XYZ is stored. And then they're asking that enter zero if your stored address is wrong, otherwise enter one. So enter the enter the zero. And it asked me the address again. Since I have copied that, I'll paste it. And this time it turn out correct. Your address is twelve hundred. People Boulevard, Santa Monica, California. For future reference, we have saved your address as 1200 People Boulevard, Santa Monica, California. This address and displayed address are the same, and the user entered address are all three are same. So that means everything is working correctly. Okay, so that's why we need to pass by const reference because we don't want the function to accidentally or maliciously change anything that is being passed to it. All right. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.